Hi there, Terry Bailey, Senior Minister of Indian Run Christian Church in East Canton, Ohio, talking about biblical songs. We began with David's instruction in Psalm 96 that the people of God should always sing a new song because God is always doing a new work among the peoples. And we looked at the first full-length structured song in the Bible in Exodus 15 as God delivered the Israelites from their predicament caught between the advancing armies of Egypt and the barrier of the Red Sea. Actually, the, the next song that I would like to look at is also written and, and sung by Moses, and it's in Deuteronomy Chapter 32, I will read the first four verses. Give ear, O heavens, and let me speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. Let my teaching drop as the rain, my speech distill as the dew, as the droplets on the fresh grass, and as the showers on the herb. For I proclaim the name of the Lord. Ascribe greatness to our God, the rock. His work is perfect, and all his ways are just. A God of faithfulness, and without injustice, righteous and upright is he. Now again, this is a very long song, and I'll leave you to read the rest of it and and know that you will profit by doing so. This song was written on the far end of Moses' experience. It was as the children of Israel were about to complete their journey into the promised land, a journey he would not undertake with them. And the song was so that when they were settled in their new habitation, they could still sing these words and remember the perfect righteousness and the rock-like faithfulness of the God who had brought them here. And as the song continues, that they would also remember the corruption of the people that had been there before them and avoid falling into that trap. And that should they depart from the way of the Lord, the singing of this song would be a means of calling them back. For these reasons, they were to sing this song as they entered and lived in the promised land. Certainly, it recalled a mighty work of God, for without his aid, they would have perished in the wilderness. So, yes, they got through the Red Sea, but there would have been starvation and dehydration, and other peoples before they actually crossed the River Jordan would have wiped them out, but for God's rock-like faithfulness. So sing this song and remember it. Moses instructed the people. We in America probably should have lost the Revolutionary War and should have perished many times over since then if not for the rock-like faithfulness of our God. And in every period, we have had songs to express our gratitude and to remember His justice, power, and faithfulness. And I say again, at the end of this period, we will have cause to remember again God's faithfulness, His power, and His provision. And we should be prepared to let our hearts overflow with new songs to Him. If you would pray with me. Father, when we have come through this trial, let us not forget what You have done for us. But sing Your praises long and loud. And let the new songs be an encouragement to all those who come after. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.